Welcome back to Let's Quest Rogue Legacy. I'm Burning Dogface, and we're just about to take another run in the castle. Uh. Hmm. You know, this is a lot faster than usual, but, uh. I'm pretty sure I didn't pick this guy last time. No, no, wait. We've been over this before. This is Rogue Trooper, not Rogue Legacy. This will help. Let's try that one again, shall we? Ah, oh, that's better. Get back here, you foul beast! There. Now... Hang on, something's not right here either. Let me get out of the, uh, dark. Oh, son of a bee sting. This isn't right either. This isn't Rogue Legacy, it's Legacy of Cain. Soul Reaver. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, third time is the charm. Ah, much better! <laughs> now then, I believe there's a rather large boss that really needs to be murdered. Away! place to put that. There. That ought to be enough not to be labeled the feeble. Yeah! Imperial Bracers. I've never even heard of the Imperial line before. Alright, it's a thankless task. But for very lucky Lady Antoinette, is going to be able to pull it off. Herodotus, my ancient foe. Uh. Huh, my level is actually higher than his. No. I play this super conservatively. Oh no! Oh god, I didn't realize how much of the floor was spike traps! Damn it! Nope, I'm not interested in you at the moment. Come here, big guy, it's your turn. Oh. Fucking hate these things. Wow. 
That was an unpleasant noise. Ah! It's too late! I've killed your friend! Damn it! No! Determined. I don't see this ending well. You know what? It amuses me that it's been like 3,000 years, and, uh, we're still using swords and shields. God, you'd think I'd have machine guns by now, because I'm so bad at this. Okay, these are not great. Okay, so it's slightly heavier and slightly magic ear than the sky limbs. That's not great. I guess I could unlock them for the sake of, uh... You know, archmages and stuff. That would probably help. Hang on. Oh, I don't have... Right! Definitely that one. Really need more of those blueprints. Oh, Christ! I noticed looking at the footage last time that when you've got the, uh, the thing down like that, the raindrops fall through the top of the architect's head. Seen to just don't want to get another lady Sonia. Look at that, exciting new frontiers. Not surprisingly like that first one.
Oh, like that last one I met. Hey, I wonder if I went back there. If there would be another chest. Oh, right, no, it's opened already. Fair enough. Wait, there is a chest back that way. I felt all right about that. You know, I'd wanted to do a uh, Let's Play of Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. I couldn't quite figure out how. The, uh... Come on, jump at me! The game seems to render seems to run the in the pre-rendered cutscenes as a different process than uh, the in-game stuff. Like I can very briefly see like the taskbar when it switches between them. Of course, that might just be because it's old and running on a system it was never uh, meant to see. But, uh, what I do know is that when I'm recording something, when I've got fraps running and I'm looking at something that fraps can record, the frame rate number appears up in the corner, up in the upper right corner. I have it set to not show up in the footage. Shooting darts at my ass. Uh. Damn it! All right, you can't turn around like that. Fuck! aim wasn't so good, I would be really annoyed. I mean, I would be doing much better if their aim wasn't so good. They were just jumping around randomly, like, you know, slimes. No. My organs. Accursed Herodotus. Nobody but barbarian kings can really take the, take the punches. Oh fuck, I turned around. I turned around again. But they can't dole out the harshness enough. But yeah, I uh...
when I'm uh, playing something that Fraps can record, detect and record, the, uh, up in the upper right corner, there's the uh, frame rate counter. Yellow if it's not recording, red if it is, it's really simple. But, um... When it switches over to the pre-rendered cutscenes in Soul Raver, you know, ranging from the developer logos to the intro cutscene, the frame rate counter isn't there. Fraps can't detect it. I don't think it can. I've never known it to be invisible. I mean, you can set it that way, but I much prefer to have the red number up in the corner so that I'm not going by, uh, you know, blind chance. A new name, Sir Judson. The old standby is the one that does the most, uh, damage. Go figure! go back and try the uh, cutscenes, but the fact of the matter is, as far as I can tell, I can't record the cutscenes in uh, Soul Reaver, and that's no good! I mean, you'll remember... that when uh, it came down to when I was playing Binary Domain, and, uh, Sega started copyright blocking my videos because of the cutscenes when I reached the end of the game. I ultimately resorted To uploading placeholder videos on YouTube and uploading the real videos on Vimeo rather than uh, you know just cut out the cutscenes or give up Yeah, fine. This layout of the castle now has all four realms on it. Fine, I'll kill that asshole too. Sir Judson, we can do this. And you can, like... Well, I guess you're not going to retire. This isn't the last boss of the game, we know that. It's really nice in this particular fight is if I could get flexible. Well, no, so you turn around when you're uh, swinging instead of backing up. 
Damn it! Well, it's kind of funny, actually. No. Oh no! What have I done? Well, this isn't optimal. Now there's a ton of them. Taking more damage to turning around here than from the mages. No. No. But I didn't kill Herodotus. I mean, I destroyed some of him, but there was a lot of him left. And that never showed up for any of the other ones who fought him. Well, thanks anyway. That'll be memorable in the uh, family list. Well. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Quest Rogue Legacy. There's work to be done. Maybe it's discouraging. But we're never going to give up. Hey, we've been at it for thousands of years. Stubbornness is the family virtue. <laughs> Later.